Hello everybody, welcome back again. I'm in a slightly new location for today, mainly because the car park is completely full and I can't get there. So, obviously I'm in the skate park of Riverside Park today, and for today's workout it's going to be, well, what I've called Let's Lunch. So, quite simply, it's gonna be a lot of lunches, and I'm sure you all expected that when you picked it, but then obviously I think you'd easily pick that over the other option I had. So yeah, we'll go with that. So like I said, it's called Let's Lunge. What we're gonna be doing is half an hour of lunges basically, but they are gonna be different types. So don't worry that we're just gonna be doing flat out half an hour lunges. They will change because obviously that would be boring if we just kept the same one for the whole time. So I'm just gonna explain to you obviously what ones are what and how it's gonna work. So basically, to keep the layout fairly simple, all we're gonna do is pretty much every minute on the minute. That's pretty much what we're gonna do. Oh, excuse me. Right. So, obviously the simple way it'll work is obviously we're gonna do a full minute of one type of lunge, move on to a full minute of the next type of lunge, next time it comes around, and then another full minute, another full minute, carry on until we've hit half an hour. So effectively we've got three, well, four different types of lunges, and I'll show you how we're gonna split these out so it goes into six rounds and then five times through, okay? So first of all, we've got pendulum lunges. Obviously, I'll show you these in a second. I'm just gonna tell you in case you know any other names. So yeah, pendulum lunges first. That'll be your first exercise. So obviously you stick one side first, then goes to the other. And then after that, we're gonna go into lateral lunges, so side lunges, effectively. But you're gonna alternate sides with those. Then we're gonna go into low, narrow lunges. Again, I will show you these, so don't you worry. Then we're gonna go into a lunge pulse but with a drive, okay? But it's not what you think. The drive's gonna be on a different leg and if you want, you can add a little kick in as well. But obviously I'll explain. So the pendulum lunge, I'll show you these quick. So, <coughs> pendulum lunge, what this will be, is you basically do a reverse lunge back and then go into a forward lunge, all right? So obviously when you reverse lunge back, you wanna lean forward slightly. And then obviously when you go forward, you wanna sit yourself back up again. So, you're literally gonna keep it all on the same leg so step back into a reverse lunge there, leads you straight into that forward lunge. Okay, see the idea? So you're almost up right there, and then you lean forward here. So you can take your time. You don't have to flow it into one if you don't want to. If you feel like you can, then great. If not, just literally reverse lunge, stop, forward, stop, back. Might be a little bit easier to control, and a little bit easier to get the fact that obviously you're leaning forward when you go back, coming up straight when you go forward. So obviously you go with one leg first, then the other. To keep it simple, we're all gonna start with left leg first, then right. So just remember that one, left first, all the time. Okay, and then after that, side lunges or lateral lunges. So basically with this, we're gonna alternate these. So all we want you to do is basically step yourself out and you're almost gonna sink your hips down while you're pushing out to the side. You're almost gonna go like that as your legs go out, okay? So see, step out, push back like that back, same with the other side, and go again, all right? So that'll be that one. So again, alternate with that one. So you just do one leg after the other, don't stick with one side on that one. Then we're gonna do low, narrow lunges. The reason why I say it's low is because what I want you to do is almost sink yourself just like this. So just push the hips down a little, push the torso forward slightly. Then all I want you to do from there is alternate and step forward. But again, with that one, it's quite a small step, so just so I make sure you can see, that's the sort of step range you want. You still wanna lean forward, and then your back knee almost is going towards your back heel of that front leg, okay? So it's almost like this. Remember, you're keeping it low, so we're just gonna step forward like that, okay? Like I said, you're gonna try and keep it low as much as possible, but don't worry if you can't keep it low for the whole time. Just try and keep it low as much as possible. If you need to stand up and go again, that's fine. Because more than likely, I will be doing the same thing. Because lunges are a killer. So just be aware of that one. Right, and then the last one you've got is obviously a pulse into a drive. So say if we're going with left leg first, which we will be. So your left leg comes back into that reverse lunge position. You're gonna pulse it for three. Stand up and drive your right knee up. So this is what I mean by if you want to add a kick in or anything like that. So it's going to be one, two, three, stand up, kick, or high knee up, however you want to do it. Get a, quite a bit of power in there. You almost want to go one, two, three, drive up and extend the other leg, okay? 
and then obviously when we go over the right side, obviously one, two, three, step up, kick like that, okay? Same as always. And obviously you can kick forward if you want, or you can just go with a knee, whatever's easier for you. But all you gotta remember is that still go left and right, but the left one you're pulsing first and you right your drive. Then we go into right, pulse, left drive, okay? That's basically how this is gonna work. So, like I said, we're gonna go through all of that. You go through as many as you can in a minute. And then we're gonna go five times through with those exercises, okay? Hence for the half an hour. So half an hour of lunges, this might be a killer. More than likely will be a killer. So obviously just be aware of that. And then we can get ourselves going. Obviously, it's actually quite warm today out here, even though it doesn't really look it. So this jumper is not staying on. But like I said, keep yourself hydrated. Just get a good warm up going quickly. Just loosen up the joints, loosen up the muscles that we're gonna be working, get those legs moving. Just while I set things up, or we'll pause the video and just get a little warm up going. And then we can crack on, okay? So, like I said, I'll just set everything up that we need to set up, and then let's do it. Right, get yourselves ready for this then. Come see that. VXS, remember? Ben J, 10% off. Shop at VXS. Brand advertising for the video. Right. So remember, pendulum lunges first, left side. When that beeper goes off. Right, so do it. So remember, the first lunge back, step forward. So just literally back like that. If you're going to step it, that's fine. Just try and remember to keep your legs at shoulder width as you step forward and back. It will help you keep much more balance. Obviously, if you're across your body like that, you're going to find it very difficult. So just make sure that you've got that working. And try not to step properly back, just use your toe. Give yourself a little bit of leverage. Go a bit again. Second start. Just remember, obviously, lean forward slightly when you go back. Keep yourself upright when you go forward. Right, so now switch legs. Save on the other side. Reverse lunge back. Forward. That's it, good, good, good. Like I said, if you're struggling, just keep an eye on my position. Like I said, you should be in an almost line between your knee and your shoulder. And then, nice and upright for that one, okay? Right, so we're on to side lunges. Remember, step out to the side, sink down like you're pushing out that way, okay? Step across. Just alternate sides. Nice big step out. Sink those hips down as far as you can. Sink yourself onto that standing leg. Oh, 
So like I said, just as many lunges as you can within a minute, but don't rush them. This is more of a strength workout rather than trying to speed things up, okay? Nice big step. I'm gonna have a slight lean forward as well as she comes back. There we go, right, onto alternating low, narrow, all right? Remember, like that, little step. Keep yourself length forward. Pretty much the whole time for this, that's why I say keep it low. Keep the abs strong. You need to keep your hands on your hips just to get them out of the way. And like I said, try and keep it low as much as you can even when you stand back up. Remember, just a, not too small of a step. You don't want to do this because you're pushing your knee way past your heel. And you don't want to be doing that, okay? So decent step back. Make sure your knee is in line with your heel, okay? That's the best way to look at this one. Get the quads and glutes burning a bit more. There we go, right. So left side first. When you pulse it, one, two, three, up. Drive that knee up. Three pulses, step up, drive. Almost step into a little bit and get a nice decent kick from it. One, two, three, step up, kick. You can even kick it on there, whatever's easier for you. Just remember, it's that right knee that goes in the air. Three pulses. Number one, two, three, step. Knee up. Drive that knee up nice and high. If I go off camera, I do apologise. I seem to walk too far, obviously. Right. Same the other side. So, right side now. Step. Kick. There. Remember not to drive with the same knee. So pulse for three, step up, kick. Okay. Good stuff's going so fast. Keep going. abs strong as well as you do this. Right, so that's one, one done, back to the beginning. So you're going into pendulum. So reverse lunge back, step forward, forward lunge again. Once you start getting a bit more used to it, try and free flow it. So step back, almost step straight into it. Then step back. Do it like that. If you can do that, then great. If not, remember just that little tap of the foot from there. Just keep challenging yourself as best you can. Right side, obviously lean back, step, forward. Remember to keep yourself as upright as you possibly can, try not to pin your shoulders back too far. Just keep yourself upright. You don't want to hyperextend the back, so none of this, just up straight, back knee down. If you have a slight little lean in front, not the end of the world. You just want more of a lean there, less of a lean here, okay? Good 
There we go, right, so now into lateral lunges again. Step out to the side, sink down. Take your time with these ones, because like I say, you're trying to sink down as much as you can without leaning forward too much. Going. Like that big step out to the side, sink down, back to the other side. Right, alternate flat, flat. low narrow lunges next. Get the hands on the hips if you need to. Step down. One at a time. Again, take your time with this one. Really get control of each rep. And like I said, keep judging of your steps. And then try and keep yourself there if you can. If you need to stand back up, and then that's fine. Like I said, I wasn't expecting you to keep it low for the whole time. Just do as much as you can. Remember to always keep that front heel planted to the floor as well. Try to score to your toes. Right, lunge and pulse next. Remember, left side first. So, one, two, three, up, drive. Driving now, that's it, you got it. There you go, that's it, nice big drive. on the other side. Right pulse in. And then drive with that left leg. Get a nice big drive in there and get some power. Push off that third one. Up. Two done. Pendulum lunges on the left side. We go for it again. Step back, little step, forward. That's it, keep pushing, keep feeling that burn. Really sink into those lunges as well, don't cheat yourselves. Sink right down, keep with the forward. You don't want to hit the floor obviously, but just the bun. Keep 
you got a spring. <laughs> I think I have it. Like. Right, switch over. Right side now. Oh, I might do this like that, eh? Remember, if you can swing it all the way into one, then go for it. That's quite slick, can't we? Remember, just keep your toe from there in the middle. So if you can step in the middle, just onto your toe, and then back. Try not to have your foot flat. Right, side lenses again. Back into that. Sit yourself across. That's it. Low. It doesn't have to be too far, even if it's just this. You're still keeping pressure on those legs. Drive again, but with the pulses, remember start on the left side, pulse, and then up, drive. Doing really well. After we've done this one, it's three rounds done, and then two to go. Well, after the next one to be. Right, so now switch sides. Here we go again. Three pulses. Up. that pain. You want your quads, you want your hamstrings, you want your glutes, all to be on fire. Especially around this stage. Oh, 
we go. Right, back to the beginning again. Fourth round. Pendulum lunges. Left side. So, reverse lunge back. Little step. Forward lunge. One, then great. <sighs> no, do not worry. Like I said, try and keep a nice flow going. Again, I know he's got which one we're on. <laughs> right, so yeah, sink yourself down, back up again. If I have this missed that, then my bad, but I think I have got that right. <sighs> Let's just literally sink back in. Nice big step. Sink down. Glutes and hamstrings. Get on working. Even the quads. Four rounder. Right. Alternate low. Slurry lunges. If you can keep it low, then great. If not. Step forward. Remember you want to be kept then forward for this one. But not too far obviously, don't lean over like that. as well. Again, not quite to the floor, but you get the idea. Cool. Back to the pulses. So, left leg first again. Three, up, drive. Keep 
Right now to the right side. Drive up with the left. Too big of a step, but big enough just so your heel goes in line with that back knee that's coming down. He was like a ski guide. Oh. 
Right, last set of lunges then. Obviously left then right, but left first. Pulse it. Up and drive. Back into it. Oh. Okay, so remember, this is the final push. Just keep going. One more then, onto the right side. Final minute. So keep it nice and free flowing. Last few seconds, do that. Ah, there we go. That was a sweaty one, wasn't it? Well, it might not have been for you. I just sweat really easy and I'm outside and it's actually quite warm, so. Oh, that's probably why I'm sweating. But no, good work, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that and your legs are burning and you're struggling to walk and you just need to sit down because your legs hurt that much. Hopefully it's like that, but if not, then just do it again and see what happens. But no, all I can say is great work as always. I thank you again for doing these workouts. Obviously a slightly different one, more strength based today. So, which is good, nice strength leg burner. But I'm glad, I'm, well, I'm hoping it's worked and I'm sure it has, but can't complain. But as always, this bump, smashed it as always. So, I think I need to um, cool off now because I'm on this way, but no, just keep checking out my other videos. Loads of workouts to choose from, absolutely loads. So take your pick, give them a go, challenge yourself and just see where it takes you and see what you can do, okay? So, until next time. Obviously, the next time will be probably quite a hideous workout, but obviously, I'll let you know when that's ready. So. Until I see you next, take care of yourselves, have a good one, and we'll be ready for more.